Russian President Vladimir Putin said Tuesday that Western military instructors were active in Ukraine, operating undercover as mercenary fighters. There are specialists there under the guise of mercenaries, Russian President Vladimir Putin said at a news conference as he wrapped up his visit to Uzbekistan. When asked about comments by Ukraine's top commander that discussions were being held on sending French military instructors to the country Putin said, Russia is well aware of the fact that there are Western mercenaries in Ukraine, there is nothing new about that. As far as mercenaries being or possibly being in Ukraine, we are well aware of that, there is nothing new about that, he said when commenting on the signing of an agreement allowing French instructors to visit Ukrainian training centers by Ukrainian Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Swarovsky. Ukrainian Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief Sersky said that he had signed an agreement that would allow French instructors to visit training centers in the country. Earlier, Russian military expert Colonel Vitaly Kizilev said that more than 1,000 French mercenaries are currently present in Donbass. We already have data that more than 1,000 French mercenaries, legionnaires are in Donbass. This is true. As far as I know, there are also prisoners. There will be more to come, he said. In the days following Russia's full-scale invasion, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced the creation of an international territorial defense legion consisting of foreigners fighting on behalf of Kiev. Among the most prominent foreign units are the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Georgian Legion and the Belarusian Kastis Kalinuski Regiment. Ukraine announced the destruction of seven Su-25s, Russian aviation is experiencing an apocalypse. The 110th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Army said that in less than a month it shot down seven attack aircraft of Russian aviation, dealing a crushing blow to Russian aviation and taking some revenge for the defeat in the battles for Abdiivka. According to Forbes, there is convincing evidence that only two Russian Sukhoi were shot down. Therefore, revenge could have been less crushing for the occupiers than reported. The 110th Mechanized Brigade, the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine and even President Vladimir Zelensky announced the destruction of seven Russian Su-25 attack aircraft by Brigade Air Defense Units on May the 4th, 11th, 13th, 18th, 22nd, May the 23rd and May the 25th. As the publication writes, it is not difficult to understand why the 110th Mechanized Brigade can inflate its victories. The brigade has survived a difficult war and perhaps really wants revenge. For more than a year, the 110th Mechanized Brigade stood on the front line in the city of Avdiivka. Holed up in the ruins of the city under constant Russian bombardment, the 2,000-man brigade awaited the inevitable Russian attack. It finally happened in October when the Russian army of at least 30,000 soldiers attacked from different directions. The 110th Mechanized Brigade was desperately short of ammunition largely because Republicans in the US Congress had delayed aid to Ukraine since the same month the Russians attacked Avdiivka. In mid-February, the 110th Mechanized Brigade withdrew, leaving behind potentially hundreds of casualties and turning what was left of Avdiivka over to Russia. After several weeks of rest, the brigade returned to the new front line west of Avdiivka and was very much looking forward to battle. It is possible that the 110th Mechanized Brigade is capable of shooting down seven Su-25s in a month. In late April, the US Congress finally approved new aid to Ukraine and the Pentagon immediately sent billions of dollars worth of ammunition to Ukraine. Moreover, Russian aviation became much more aggressive with its hundreds of Su-25s during the six months when the Ukrainians were begging for ammunition. Most famously, Russian Su-25s regularly flew directly over the front lines around the frontline town of Chasov Yar for several weeks starting in mid-April. This was a new practice for the Russians. Before the Ukrainians temporarily ran out of air defense ammunition, Russian pilots typically launched their missiles from a safe distance several kilometers from the front line. It is therefore possible that the 110th Mechanized Brigade had more missiles to fire and more Su-25s nearby. Despite this, there is evidence of only two possible downings and this evidence is limited.